Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this is a This and That Show, TNT. And what I do in these shows, or what I attempt to do in these shows, is just kind of give you a general update of what's going on in the world of shortwave and scanners and gadgets. And today we're going to start off with sharing you a fellow YouTubers channel. I've done this from time to time and typically I just get a collection of, of channels and show you the various channels. This time I'm going to concentrate on one channel and I think it's a pretty good channel and it's quickly growing into a larger channel. Let's go to it right now. I'm just quit babbling here and get to it. Okay, it's the Oxford shortwave log. And uh, Clint, who runs this YouTube channel, he lives in Oxfordshire, which is uh, near Whitney in the UK. He's a chartered scientist. This is what they have over there. And he's, in ch he's the operations director for a company that's in the MIR. Those things that you get when you got some problems, they go take a picture of you. Industry. So a pretty exciting industry. He started out listening to shortwave radio when he was a teenager. Pretty like most like many of us. And then he kind of got away from it, just like me. Kind of got busy at work and kind of got away from it. But now he's back into shortwave and he's sharing his experiences with shortwave on this channel. He's got hundreds of videos and typically his videos are of him receiving a shortwave station on one of his many radios and he's got an outstanding collection of radios. He, among the radios he has, he has the Texan PL360, the Yezu F RG770, the FRG880, the Sony 2001D, the Sony SW55, the Sony SW100, the Sony SW77, and he has an ELAD, which is a newer SDR transceiver. It's quite expensive. FD M Duo and kind of envious of that radio. He also has a Panasonic RFB65 and a Roberts R272. Now he's shown all of those radios in action on his videos. He also has an Eaton E1 and a Texan PL680, which he is in the future going to do some videos on those. So as you can see right now, he has 455 subscribers. So go to his channel and subscribe. He's got some great videos. And he, as you can see from the listing of his radios, he's got some outstanding radios, really collector items. I'd love to have some of these radios that he has, uh, like the some of the Sonys he has the SW55, the SW100, and some of the Yezu radios he has. Those are kind of on my wish list. So check him out. Um, he's a pretty good guy. I'm sure he will enjoy you subscribing to his channel and shoot him a message or a comment that I sent you there. I'd appreciate it. Okay, moving on. The next thing is... What is happening to Radio Australia? Now, this is the SWLING.com webpage, which has lots of news about shortwave and its recent news. And it's got a lot of contributors, including myself. And here is the latest post on the status of Radio Australia. Um, he said he got an update from ABC reception 
and it says, thank you for your email. We are working towards restoring services this coming Friday at 9 a.m. Sydney time, which would be 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in Florida. So we're going to check later tonight, maybe, uh, or first thing in the morning to see if Radio Australia is back on the air. Boy, I hope so. I really, really miss that channel. So that's just the latest status that I know of about Radio Australia. Okay, the next thing, let's see what else we got here to tell you about. Oh, my Amazon store. I have an Amazon store. And if you're not familiar with Amazon stores, and you'll see these little uh, ads on various websites, and you can have a full store, which I have. And anybody can do this. Um, I think anybody can do this. And it's really just a store. In this case, it's just a store front. And Amazon provides you the tools for quickly making this storefront. And you set up the layout, and then you start adding products that you want to advertise in your store. And, of course, my store, I have shortwave radio stuff, antennas, scanner radios, books, test equipment, emergency equipment, and Bofang radio equipment. So those are the subjects that I have in my store. And I go through Amazon, and I pick items that I think my viewers will be interested in put it in the store. And then what you do is you come to my store, and if you go down below this video, scroll down under the description, there's a link to the store, or you can see the link right up here to get to the store. You go to my store, and you pick an item. Let's say this, this book right here. Let's just pick this book right here. So you click on the book. And then it gives you more details about that particular item. Same type of content that you would see on Amazon. This stuff comes from Amazon. I don't type all this stuff in. It just comes from Amazon. And then if you, after you read the reviews and you can look at the customer reviews and stuff like that, you can add it to a shopping cart. Or if you go down here and you click on either three new or used available from $21 or 27 customer views. That takes you to the Amazon website. If you purchase that item or any other items, bird seed or whatever, while you're at that store, I get a credit for it. I then use the, <clears throat> excuse me, use the credit. <clears throat> Sorry, there goes my voice again. <clears throat> I then use the credit to purchase things to review on my show. So that's kind of how it works. So I appreciate everybody that has <clears throat> gone to my Amazon store and purchased something. Um, I had a big purchase this month, and so I'm in two months from now, I'll get a nice credit for that purchase. Okay, that's <clears throat> the other thing. The final thing is the giveaways. We have more giveaways coming up every 10 shows on the way to my 1,000th show, we will have a giveaway. So coming up on show number 960, we will have a giveaway. And if you go back to one of my previous shows um, that talks about the details of the giveaway, you can enter the giveaway for a whole bunch of brand new books from Amazon that were donated to me. So that's the status of the giveaway. And um, the other thing is that I just noticed is that <clears throat> I just went over 1.5 million views. And I thank my uh, viewers for that. I thank everybody that has subscribed. And if you enjoyed this show, please give, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.